Thursday morning. It's a great day because we're only one day away from Friday, mm -hmm. already nearing the end of the work week, Carson. Yes, we are, Isaac, but you know, it's a carbon copy of yesterday. It's going to be another morning. dreary day. Yes, it's going to be another dreary day. But it I've was got... humid too yesterday. It was. Yeah, I mean, I and a little that's sweaty. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you didn't really want to be outside on my run. I was just drenched in sweat. It was just ugh. I turned on to AC yesterday afternoon. Yes, and it's January. Yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> Mother Nature can't make up her mind. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like the old saying goes, if you don't like the weather in Texas, just wait a few minutes, it's going to change. And that's what we're going to see today. Of course, we are dealing with a little bit of fog this morning. It's not going to last for very long. And it's going to be mainly in our deep east Texas counties as we look at our visibility readings from Jacksonville to Palestine pointing off to the southeast. That is where we're finding the thickest fog. Now to the north of that, that is where we were seeing the shower and thunderstorm activity, especially along and north of I-20 as expected. This is in the Longview, White Oak and Union Grove area. You can see these showers. Yeah, they are a little heavy at time, but we are not dealing with any severe weather this morning. And as we move up to Wood County. Yeah, Quitman over to Emory and also in eastern Wood County. We are dealing with a few showers there as well, but generally everything is going to be non severe. Now we could have some gusty winds here on Futurecast. This is nine o'clock. This will all continue to push off to the north as we go throughout the morning. Still dealing with a little bit of activity from Sulphur Springs over to Mount Pleasant to Texarkana near the I-30 area. That's one o'clock. And then as we go into this evening, this is five o'clock. Most of the activity shifts to the northwest and we're just dealing with cloudy skies and much colder temperatures. Don't let that catch you off guard. Nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Morning. Just a little bit of drizzle in the area, but another round of rain is on the way as we go into Friday afternoon. We're going to see a line of showers and some moderate to heavy rain at time times set up just off to our northwest. That's about 10 o'clock on Friday. That moves through and colder temperatures move in once again for your Saturday. So right now temperatures, it's a muggy start. But enjoy this while it lasts if you like those very warm January temperatures because they aren't going to last. Actually, we've hit our high temperature for most locations. We're falling into the upper 40s and lower 50s by this afternoon. Tonight, 48 degrees will be our low and we should get a break from the rain. However, I can't rule out some mist, some light rain tonight, but again, Rain chances tonight are going to be under 10%, but watch what happens as we go into this weekend. 50s are expected, 40s on Tuesday, but for a long holiday weekend, it's looking pretty nice. No rain chances until the middle part of next week, and it could get active next week as well, too, but temperatures will only be in the 50s. Similar story for deep east Texas. Rain will arrive just a little bit later Friday night. That's a significant drop in temperature right mm -hmm. there from Saturday morning to Sunday morning, 61 one to 31. Yes, I mean, and we could have multiple freezes the next week, so it's going to get chilly again, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yep. I mean, like I said, just wait a little bit. It's going to change for you here in East Texas. The weather is already. Thank <laughs> you very much, Carl.